I do this every time. It's this way. There we go. Okay, so we've got our John Deere now. Um, that will pull that without a problem. I love the, the weight on the front, too. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Yeah, that's not going... That's not going on any roads. <laughs> kind of kind of dark in here. All right, let's turn on some lights. Yep. Okay, now it is articulated, which is going to kill me. This way. Okay, now we're going to have no problems. <laughs> Beacons. All right, let's uh, let's head back towards the farm. <laughs> We're gonna get inside the, the cab here, just for uh, yeah. We're just gonna drive in the middle of the road. Nobody's gonna mess with us. Yeah. We're 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 awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness I'm going to hire a worker and then I'm going to uh, take the other John Deere bring it back to the tractor shop and uh, see about picking up the other equipment that I think I need uh, yeah <laughs> we're just going to take up the entire road which we can do because we're awesome like that. All right, so while we're, we're loping along here, I wanted to check my statistics. Uh, carrying 65 eggs, good. All right, my cows are at 100%. I have 4,000 liters of milk. That's gonna be excellent come, the, come milk pickup time. Probably need to drop some straw for them a little bit later. We'll do that. Uh, sheep, I probably need to do some grass at some point. I'll probably do the grass off screen, honestly, because it's mowing grass. Yeah. I'll probably cut a whole bunch of grass and then put it up in storage in the, um, <clears throat> in the big building there where I've got the, the forage and the straw. Um, all right, we have 22 eggs and then we have 22 pigs. <laughs> How about that? That's... Nice, 31% pig production because of the grain. All right, well, that's good. Okay, I'm cool with that. There is our awesome big tractor. All right, we're gonna leave the road here. So we're turning off the beacons. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights because the lights are just... Let's back this up. Nope, let's back this up. That was mostly the correct way. Unfold the discs. Come on. Thank you. Lower the discs. Hire the worker. Off you go. Yeah. That's one big tractor. One big mamma jamma. <laughs> Cost us a pretty penny, but, um, yeah. I mean, we're down, what are we down? We're down 20K, I think, from what we came in at. So basically, that tractor cost, that tractor and plow cost us 20K from what we started at when we started the episode. Woo All right, let's go get the other half of what we are going to do. We're also going to check on the lambs for reasons of lamb checking. Because I like checking on lambs. Because they're so cute. They like cute lambs. Oh, we have to check on cows. We have to check on baby cows. we got to do that, too. All right. Let's go in here. Hey, there. <gasps> Look at you. You're getting all big. Yeah. Anybody over here? Nobody over here. All right. Excellent. Go. Cool. And you guys have 22 eggs for me. Thank you, gang. Oop. Oop. And that's all going good. Let's check cows really quick and see if we got any baby cows. We'll find out here in a moment. Oh. 
And oh, look at we got a baby cow. His name shall be. Hmm, what will his name be? Spots. We will call him Spots. Spots the cow. All right. <laughs> Let's go and take this guy back to the to the shop and pick up our next piece of equipment. We'll get inside because this one this one has some nice interior. And beacons, beacons are on. Beacons are on. All right. Yeah, this one has nice interior. In fact, while we're driving along. Can I, can I not open that while I'm driving? Apparently not. Okay. Never mind. I open this while I'm driving. I thought, I, I thought there was a thing where I could... Oh, there. Can I open this? No. Apparently I cannot. Woo! Out of the lane. <laughs> uh, I brought the Ford all the way down here to try to bring something back, and I can't bring it back, and I gotta take the tractor down there anyway. What's the gauge on my right? See, look down on my on my dashboard there. So the left gauge is my fuel gauge. Uh, then there's the two big gauges. And then there's a gauge on the right that is slowly creeping up towards red. What is that? I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Kind of weird that I can open that door. Open. Oh, wait. There. I just have to click in the right spot. Woo. Uh, all that black soot coming in. Close that. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Where's that? There. Close. There. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on. We need a coffee. We're going we're gonna to pull over for a coffee. Just going to park right here. Susie's. Got to hop out. We, we need to run into Starbucks here, grab a coffee. Ah, they're closed. No. <laughs> what happened to that? That wasn't my fault. I didn't do that. I didn't. That's not my. Nope. Hey, well, you know what? I didn't do a bad job of parking. Great demand for canola. Well, hopefully that stays for a long time. What? Great demand for sugar beets. I don't have any sugar beets. Sad, sad day. All right. Aborted Starbucks run. All right, let's see what we can do about this. We can turn those off now. Okay. People, people at the shop are just like, really? He just leaves trucks running in our yard. Crazy man. All right. Here we go. We're making it. Uh, sorry, machines. We're making goodbye. That's right. Jeez, oh, what direction? Oh, my gosh. Why is it I cannot get that direction straight? Uh, I don't know. All right, we got a six meter potato planter. We're gonna try to get this onto the bed of the truck. <laughs> I'm gonna ram the truck slightly. Not the bed of the truck, the bed of the trailer. That's kind of wide, but. All right, so we are, we are going to make the investment. We're making a bet that I can make $200,000 or $250,000 before the potatoes are fully grown. Uh, how many of you think that's going to work? How many of you think this is going to work? Well, that's... Hmm. Yeah, that didn't really work so well. Come on, stop that. Magic! <laughs> Uh, 
I'm thinking no. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we're going to drive this back. And then we're going to... Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I thinking? This has got a standard hitch on it. Oh, my goodness, there. Up that there. Okay, now we can put this on there. This is what you came for, right? You came to watch me attempt to put... To, to get a potato planter back to my farm. Yeah. All right. Let's get up here. Oop. Whoa. Good job. Stop. Get out. All right. Now, yeah. Let's raise those up. Okay. Lock the load. Now, I think, I think, let's do that, and then, no, 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 not like that, uh, well, that's so off that it's not even funny. Um, okay. Back up, and then cut it this way. Got it. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be a hazard on the road at all is it no no nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be bothered by that we're good <gasps> okay we're good we're good probably need to invest in a stronger runabout pole truck but you know here we go don't mind us just, just coming through let's get in the cab and just we don't want to look at those people just everybody everybody look look this direction we'll just we're not, well, I don't see you over there. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. There's, there's no problems here. Okay, I think we can look. Okay, we can look now. Whew. Oh, man. I think theoretically I could turn on. Could I actually turn on the, um, no. I thought for a second that I could turn on the potato harvester from the truck. And I was going to be like, really? <laughs> Suddenly my, my tractor is my Ford truck. But no, no. That is not true, sadly. Probably for the greater good, too. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, and I know I don't technically have to fill this. I could just let the hired worker do it. I always like to put 15 to 20% in my cedars, and I, I like to do that because then I can clean up when they screw up. Because, let's be honest, the hired workers screw up the planting, and especially of potatoes. All right. Let's see, which item are we going to detach? Okay, good. That is detached. Now let's put forward. Z. Unlock. Here. All right, and let's get this guy off of here. We'll hook him up right here. Yeah, we'll just leave him running for a moment so that, just for now. Uh, let's get the trailer out of the way. And get the Ford parked up. So what am I going to do to try to earn the, the 200 G's, 250 G's that I need to, uh, to buy the harvesting equipment? Well, we're going to run the silage, which should get us some. The milk should get us some. And uh, beyond that, it's going to be a lot of hope. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's going to be a lot of hope. Um, yeah, I really don't have too much of a game plan beyond, beyond this, um, sadly. <laughs> I just, I want to do potatoes and I want to do it with the big equipment because to me, it's just, it's a good idea. All right, six, nine, 10, we're going to go to 25% because these are the worst. Potatoes are the worst for the hired worker, I think. All right. Your nose is on the ground. Good. 
of that. Okay. The big John Deere should uh, be well into his work over here. I'm hoping. <laughs> Don't know where he is. Hello, big John Deere. Hello? You've done a crap job over here. Oh, man. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll let that ride for now. Let him, we'll let him go for, for now. Uh, all right, um, let's line this up. And some of you I know are like, you are making a huge mistake by doing this. And you're right, I might be making a massive mistake. But right now I see it as... One, you guys wanted me to do potatoes before. Two, what better place to do potatoes than a giant farm? At least I'm going to get something out of it in terms of, yeah, something. Um, we're going to have to watch and see how much money it costs me to plant in potatoes. Because um, that could end up being a factor that's going to cause issues as well. But we do have a field, a giant field of canola and a decent field of barley over there which I noticed are pretty close in growth, which is odd. I would expect that one to be slower than that, but whatever. Um, I will have to fertilize this, but I can do that with uh, one of the other tractors. Yeah, well, there we go. We've, we've got our, our 6110R pulling the Grimmy GL660, and then we got our brand new... John Deere 9630 hauling the Ford Cultivator, which is a cheap and very heavy cultivator. But he's doing a good job, other than the fact that he's missing stuff. But that also means, with that, with that guy done, that also means that when we have the money for the big air seeders, well, we already got the tractor to haul the big air seeders. We got the big John Deere. So that's good. See, how come you didn't miss anything there, but you missed that and that and that? Seriously, dude. Seriously. <laughs> All right, so while we're standing here, I'm also going to go and look, and I'm, I'm going to look at these other tractors that I have. Uh, we, had, we had Case... Where did we have? We had Case in Kansas. So we've got Case done. Cat Challenger is just expensive as anybody's business. Here's all the old-time equipment. We've had these Fords multiple times. And these Fords. We have IHs that we do need eventually to uh, to make use of. And, of course, we have a lot of John Deere's. And some other New Hollands. Renault. We could buy a Renault. <laughs> uh, here's a Kenworth dump truck that would have been good for, um, for uh, course playing out to the bio facility. But, sadly, that was not to be... All right, cool. Now, I bet you didn't expect me to go to potato so early, especially with the money I've got. We've got, we've got a huge hurdle ahead of us. We're, we're looking at needing 250,000 bare minimum to, uh, to buy the Grimmy Harvester. That's a lot of money, especially on this map. You guys have seen how much I get on this map. Um, but I think, I think we might be able to do it. Partially, I think that because the, um, the cows are running at near 100% right now. And the cows running at near 100% is getting me a good bit of milk. And the milk is paying pretty well. So that, that's good. That is a loud sheep. If push comes to shove, we can also thin the herds a little bit. And we've, of course, got eggs that we can always sell eggs. Because I always have eggs. <laughs> Usually on me, as the case might be. All right. Cool. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. All right, let's see. That and that is growing. I don't have another tractor. Hmm. Oh. Sheep. How is it? Not sheep. Um, pigs need 
Silage. Oof, I don't know why. Uh, what was it? Cows. How are we doing, cows? Cows need not much. Okay, so we have... Wow. 4,239 liters of milk. That's, that's good. That's a lot of milk. That ought to turn us a pretty penny. And then the sheep are doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. I'm, I'm, I will freak out probably later when the potatoes start coming in about money. But what I think I'm going to do off screen for sure is I'm going to take the bull nose and the trailer and I'm going to run silage. Because um, you guys don't really want to watch me do silage over and over and over and over and over again. Um, yeah, that's for sure. We're going to do that. This cane trailer might be sold. It's not going to get me much money. Um, it's going to get me... Where is it? Uh, get me only ten and a, ten and a quarter. Um, but that, that might be going. Other than that, um, oh, and this might be going as well. But that, that's a decision that I'm going to make later. Oh man, I am kind of nervous about, the, about this. We've made a commitment. We've, we've bought the equipment. It's a big deal. You guys can discuss in the comments. How badly I just screwed up by doing this. <laughs> uh, and look at my money go down as the potatoes are planted. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to need a good chunk more than 250 to, uh, to actually get this working. It's just, that's just my thought right now. See, look at how horrible they do. Look at that. Look at how horrible that is. Yeah. So I end up, I usually end up, after they're all done, I spend like another long, long time doing all these little edges like this. Because it's like, really, guys? Really? Where's the other one? It must be way over on the other side. Cool. All right. Yeah. Discuss in the comments. How badly have I screwed up by... Betting two, that I can make 250000 in the time it takes potatoes to grow. <laughs> can't believe I've made this bet with my, with my farm, basically. I can take a $200,000 loan out, but I have to repay it in seven days. So, <laughs> there you go. That, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I might have made a bad decision here. But I do have the field of barley. I have the big field of canola. I've got canola in the shop, in the, the silos. And, um, yeah. Maybe we can make a good killing on, on potatoes here. We'll see. We shall see. Um, and I might, if I, if I can find the money, I'm probably going to replace that bullnose and trailer sooner rather than later for the simple fact that the bullnose drinks fuel and um, I can't course play everything I might need to with that trailer on there because the course play drivers don't actually know how to back up a trailer so there you go um, all right cool we've made in 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 a short amount of time we've made a little bit of money and then spent it all and some and we've committed to a lot. <laughs> Discussed down below how badly I screwed up. <laughs> All right. Um, don't forget, check out the forum. My sub forum is linked down below. That You can get from there to the main forum to find out information about the 24 hours of farm sim to fight hunger. Uh, that is coming in December. And uh, yeah, find out how you might participate in one way or another so until next time it's been Dare Tubbers I've been farming in Colorado on Farming Simulator 2013 taking a big bet that I can find $250,000 before my potatoes need to be harvested potatoes alright till next time bye <laughs>